Welcome back to the Kernel Talk channel. In this video, I will talk about anti-reflective coating on crystals. Stay tuned. So you probably already saw or even have a watch that have AR coating on the crystal. But my intention is to explain what is this coating, what it's made of and how it works. It's actually not complicated. The origins of this coating is to use on the lenses of the camera objectives because it can produce a kind of a flare because depending on how the the light hits the lenses, it reflects the, the light to the inside of the camera and gives a, a ugly effect to the picture. So basically what the anti-reflective coating does is to reduce the reflect caused by the, the light that hits the surface of the lens. And it does this basically by canceling the wavelength. These coatings, they usually made of some kind of metal or mineral, depending on the application. There are numerous applications of AR coatings on the industry and it depends on the base material and the effects that you desire. But in the case of the watch crystals, it is a metallic coating that is applied, applied through the PVD process. In case you don't know what the PVD is, take a look on this video that will appear on the card here where I explain what the PVD is. So basically what you do is to apply this metallic coating that have the thickness of one fourth of the visible wavelength. And why one fourth? Because when you apply this coating, what you're actually doing is that when the light hits the surface, it generates one reflex over the coating and another reflex over the lens. And if you generate a wavelength that is one fourth out of phase, what you do is actually generating a wave that is the opposite of the original wave. And this makes a phenomenon called destructive interference. It's basically the same thing that your noise canceling headphones work. It picks up the noise and generate a sound that is a completely inverted phase of the original sound. So it cancel each other. And the watch crystal that have the AR coating on both sides can reduce the reflection to something around 1 to 2 percent or even less than this while a crystal that have no AR coating usually reflects around 8 to 9 percent of the light that hits the surface. But the downside is that the AR coating on the outside of the crystal can be scratched. And sometimes it even confuse if the, there is a scratch on the crystal itself or only on the AR coating. That's why some brands only uses the AR coating on the inside of the crystal. Of course, that the anti-reflective effect is not the same, is reduced by half of what it could be, but it still works better than, than nothing. But that's exactly the reason why the AR coating is a little bit of a love or hate. Some like very much the appearance of the, the crystal with the AR coating that sometimes it looks like there is absolutely no crystal on the watch, while others hate it because it can be scratched over time and it, it actually looks very ugly when it gets uh, very scratched. And once you get it scratched, the only way is to remove completely the coating and it can be removed by polishing. You can't remove it by trying to rub it off with some kind of uh, solvent because as I said, it's either a metallic or mineral based coating. So it doesn't solve with uh, any petroleum or other kind of solvents. So the only way is to polish it or to replace the crystal uh, completely. Uh, eventually it can be done like you do the, like you apply the coating on, on, the, on the lenses of your glasses, but uh, it's not usual to do this on watch crystals. Uh, 
and can be expensive to apply uh, the coating on only one crystal, which probably makes it more affordable to replace the entire crystal. And another downside, and that's why some brands prefer to just not use any AR coating at all, is because it can change the color of the dial or the hand. So some brands pre uh, prefer just not to use it to keep the, the appearance of the dial and hands as realistic as possible. And that's it. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something new from this video. If you like it, give me your thumbs up. Uh, in case you didn't subscribe to the channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button here or on the Kernel Talk logo. And see you next time.